Hi, my name is Nancy. I'm a transfer student here at UCSB. Um, I transferred from Napa Valley College, so this video goes out to everyone that goes there, um, hoping to transfer either to UCSB or hopefully a UC. Uh, some of the things that made my transfer experience really successful was that I collaborated, collaborated a lot with the counselors at Napa. Um, I would go in a couple of times every semester just to make sure that I was on track and that I had everything done. Um, one of the most important things that you should remember is that it's really important to finish your prerequisites for your major. Um, for example, I'm a sociology major, so I finished all the lower division courses that I needed to get into UCSB and to get me into the major. Um, some of the things that could happen if you don't finish is um, that you could be announced as a pre-major. Um, before you get accepted to the school, you are a pre-major, and to get into the full major, you have to finish the prerequisites. So, for example, my roommate, she didn't finish some biology classes that she needed to do at her community college. So she was able to take them here, but unfortunately, on the quarter system, you only want to take at least three classes your first quarter so you could imagine how tough it was for her to get classes as a lower division um, and she couldn't even get into any of the upper division for her major because she wasn't in the major yet. So I have some tips for people who are going to be transferring soon. Um, one of the tips that I would recommend is definitely moving into a university owned apartment or maybe um, one of the dorms. The really good thing about living on campus or through the university is that they you can choose your roommates through the school so you don't have to go on Craigslist and find some random person that you don't know. Um, I met one of my roommates through Facebook. Uh, she's also a transfer student so I think living with a transfer student is actually beneficial because not only are you two on the same boat but um, you guys can go to all the transfer activities because there there will be some on campus and even through um, your housing. Uh, some of the things that I went to my first uh, week during the fall quarter was I went to free pizza night or we went to campus and we got free food there. We went to free concerts and it's just a really good way to meet new people. Another good thing about university apartments or dorms is that they're fully furnished, so um, that makes moving a lot easier, especially when you live far away. Um, let's see. Another good thing is that oftentimes if, you, if you're living in a dorm, you'll probably have to do a meal plan, which is really beneficial because for people who don't know how to cook or don't cook often, you can just go to one of the dining commons, and I've heard that they've actually had really great food. Um, and for people who do want to cook, maybe deciding to live in a university apartment would be better for you because it does come fully with a kitchen. When transferring to UCSB, um, I came, Navi Valley College is on a semester system, and of course UCSB is on quarter system. Um, that was probably one of the most challenging things that I had to deal with, and I did experience transfer shock due to the quarter system. Um, one of the things that I recommend is checking gaucho space early before school starts. Um, before week one, usually most professors will post up the syllabus, or maybe they'll post up like additional readings that they want you to do. Um, when I first transferred here, I did not know anything about gaucho space. So when I heard my roommates talking about it, I was like, oh hey, I'll go check it out. And then when I went on there, I realized I had a lot of reading that I hadn't done yet. Um, so it's definitely important to understand like how your classes work, whether it's online or um, in class or both, you just have to make sure you know which one it is because it's really easy to fall behind during quarter system. Um, it's only a 10 week system, so one week behind can be a lot. So those were some of the tips that I have for you guys as transfer students. Um, I hope that they may have helped you. You know, just remember uh, to finish your prerequisites. That's probably the one most important thing on being a successful transfer student. Um, I think it will also help you transition into quarter system a lot better. And you can get started right away on your major. Luckily, this is, let's see, this is my second quarter. And I'm going to be finished with all my major requirements probably by spring or fall quarter of next year. So you definitely want to finish all the prereqs so you can get ahead of the game. 
um, and maybe you want a double major, you never know. Um, another thing is to consider university housing. It's very beneficial to you as a transfer. Um, another thing would be to go to all the events on campus. Sure, it may sound like kind of dumb when they say, oh, it's free food day, like enjoy some food while visiting the campus. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do because food is kind of expensive, so any chance that I can get free food, I usually go for it. So I hope that some of my tips were very helpful for you. Um, hopefully it gets you thinking about some of the things that you will encounter during your experience at a university. I wish you the best of luck during your transfer experience.